Do you want to add more spin to your slice serve? Maybe you want to add more speed? This is the video for you. I'm also going to show you how to vary the amount of speed and spin on your slice serve. So for example, maybe you want to have a lot of speed and not a lot of spin, or maybe a lot of spin and not much speed, or it could be anything in between. There are dozens of variations to the slice serve, so I'm not only going to help you with your slice, I'm going to show you how to uh, change the type of slice. I'll also give you an awesome drill to help you improve your slice and get a feel for it. If you're curious as to why your slice serve maybe keeps going in the net or long past the service line, I will help you with that as well. My name is Jeremy Mulfay, Elite Certified Pro with Fundamental Tennis. I'm excited to bring this video to you. Let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a couple of bonus tips. First, it's important that you have a continental grip. I'm not going to go into real depth about how to find the continental grip or why it's important, but because I've done a video on it in the past, and I don't want to make this video too long as well, so continental grip is a must for the slice serve. If you can go to what I call strong continental, I think that's even better. That means that the underbase of your index knuckle is in between bevels one and two, so it's on that edge between bevels one and two. The continental grip, especially a strong continental grip, will allow you, it does several great things for you, but one thing I want to talk about today is it, it allows you to naturally hit the outside or right side of the ball as a righty, which makes the ball spin sideways. This is, of course, a video about the slice serve, so that is important. So we need the continental grip, strong continental preferably, and we need to hit the outside of the ball. Now, if you think about it, if I toss the ball so that I make contact above my hitting shoulder, which is the traditional way of hitting a slice, somewhere very close to that, so I'm making contact in line with my hitting shoulder, how am I going to hit the outside of the ball, the right side of the ball? By the way, when I say the outside of the ball, again, I mean right side of the ball, you're not literally hitting the right side, because obviously the ball would go way to the left. You're just hitting maybe an inch to the right of the back of the ball, which is where you would hit a flat serve. So in order to hit the outside of the ball, if I toss the ball in front of me, so not to my right, if I toss it and I hit it so that I make contact above my hitting shoulder, the traditional contact and traditional toss location, I can only hit so much of the outside of the ball before the ball goes well to the left of my target. So it's not possible to create the most spin if you toss the ball um, not to the right, again, in line with your hitting shoulder, that is. Now, the problem with tossing the ball to the right or to the outside of your hitting shoulder, again, so that I'm making contact more to the right over here, is it does increase the likelihood of injuring your shoulder. However, I have never injured my shoulder and I've been doing it my whole life when I do slice serves. And I've been teaching this uh, to, to many players of all ages and levels, and they have never had an injury with their shoulder either. So if you have problems with your shoulder, you may not want to do what I'm showing you in this video. Now, whether you always toss to where I'm going to tell you to toss when you do a slice serve, or you just do that toss to help you learn the slice serve, either way is great. I often will have players toss so where I'm going to show you the toss uh, just to get a feel for hitting the outside of the ball. Now, where exactly should we toss the ball in order to get the most spin possible? You want to toss the ball more to your right, so towards the ad, sorry, towards the deuce alley as a righty. Okay? The farther you toss the ball towards the deuce alley, the more potential you have in creating side spin, okay? This is because if I toss the ball to my right, my swing path becomes more in that direction because I'm going to get the ball. Also, I'm able to hit the outside of the ball without the ball going well to the left of the target, okay? So again, I said earlier, if I toss the ball above my hitting shoulder and I hit the outside of the ball, the ball's gonna go way to the left of the target. If I toss the ball well to my right towards the deuce alley as a righty and I make contact here and my swing path will of course be going that way because the ball toss went that way, that is how you create the most spin possible. Okay, so 
you can toss the ball a few inches towards the deuce alley, more so than your usual toss, or you can toss the ball as far to your right as you want, within reason of course. If you have to move your feet to hit it, then that toss is too far. So you can toss, again, the ball as far as you want to to the right, as long as you're able to maintain balance and keep your feet still. Again, the farther you toss to the right, the more spin you can get because then you can hit the outside of the ball, which is the key to creating that side spin for the slice and, uh, and also allow the ball to not go to the left. All right, so we know we wanna to toss further towards the deuce alley in order to create a lot of spin. Uh, and a lot of pl players, that mainly coaches, guys, I wanna address this because I'm sure somebody will bring it up. We'll talk about disguising the serve. Now, unless you're playing at a very high level, college tennis or pro tennis, in my opinion, it does not matter much if they see you toss well to the right, because if you hit a quality slice serve, then it doesn't matter because it's gonna be a quality slice serve. So, in my opinion, it's quite overrated for 99% of the tennis world um, that, oh my gosh, you should never toss to the right, uh, well to the right, because then the return's gonna see you're gonna hit a slice. To me, it doesn't matter that much uh, even at my level, I, I don't care a whole lot if they see it's coming because I know that I'm going to hit a good serve. I know I'm going to hit a great slice. And I know that tossing to the right creates a lot more spin and action on the ball versus tossing just kind of straight up. Now, the other part to the slice serve toss, we talked about adjusting the ball toss to the right. The more to the right, the more potentially you have to create uh, that spin. And that spin, by the way, guys, after the ball bounces, the ball will jump quickly and it'll stay low it'll go to the left from uh, your perspective the server's perspective so it's very difficult for the opponent uh, to tee off on it because it stays low uh, it also is hard to read the ball it's hard to uh, get in position to hit it and really nobody likes a good slice serve because it's very difficult to deal with I don't care what level you're playing now toss to the right what's the other thing Tossing less in front. By tossing less in front, this allows you to be able to hit the outside of the ball even more so while keeping the ball uh, in the service box. And it'll also allow you to get that swing path more this way to create that slice. But the main reason is to be able to hit the outside of the ball. On the ad side, especially when I'm serving down the tee as a righty, I'll toss even less in front and guys, when I say in front, I'm saying, for example, on a flat serve, let's say I make contact 10 inches in front of the baseline. So obviously my toss goes 10 inches in front of the baseline. For a slice serve, if I wanna get the most spin possible, I'm gonna to toss the ball maybe three inches in front of the baseline, okay? So two things about the toss, more to the right towards the deuce alley and less in front. That's gonna give you the most spin possible. You'll be able to swing really fast without having the fear of missing. Now, how can we vary the amount of spin and speed we want? Well, it's really all about the toss location because as I said before, the toss location will influence your swing path and how much you can hit the outside of the ball. So again, it influences the speed and spin. If I want the most speed, if I want a lot of speed on my slice and just a little spin, then I would toss the ball in front of me more so, so maybe closer to 10 inches in front of the baseline. And I would also have the ball not so much to the right. That will cause you to have to hit not so much the outside of the ball in order to uh, also keep the ball in the box. Now, if, so again, faster serve, fast slice serve, I toss in front or, or less, uh, uh, more in front than if I wanted to hit a lot of spin. And I'm also gonna toss less to the right because I'm not, again, if you're trying to hit a speed slice serve, as I call it. So there's a lot of speed, just a little spin. Now, if you want to hit a lot of spin, which means you're gonna lose some speed, just like a top spin forehand, if you wanna hit a lot of spin, then you wanna toss that ball about at the depth of the baseline, so not much in front at all. And of course, again, you wanna toss the ball well to the right, so it almost looks like a forehand slice, which I'm gonna talk about uh, very soon. So, 
In summary, about varying the speed and spin, if you want more speed on your slice, toss more in front and not as much to the right. If you want more spin on your slice, don't toss the ball in front of the baseline as much, and also you want to toss the ball uh, further towards the deuce alley, okay? So the toss location largely determines how much spin and speed that you will have on that slice serve. Uh, here's a great drill to help you uh, get a feel for your slicer. If you know how to hit a slice forehand, then this is going to be especially easy for you. So you're going to start around the depth of the service line. I'm uh, at the baseline right now. However, it's really simple. You're just going to toss the ball as if you're going to hit a forehand, because you are going to hit a forehand, except you've got your continental grip, same as you had with the slice serve, and you're going to hit a slice forehand. So I'm making contact around waist level. Now every few serves, you're going to raise the toss a little bit and make contact a little higher. Eventually, as you'll see, you'll be hitting a, you know, a typical, closer to a typical slicer. So I toss a little higher, okay? I toss a little bit higher. That time I hit it at about chest height. Last one, maybe shoulder height. Now I'm gonna get more into my serve stance here. It's getting, looking more like a serve technique. And I'm going to toss it to head height. I'm going to do a few of those. And then before you know it, I am hitting a slice serve with a great toss to create the most spin possible. Once again, guys, if you toss the ball so that you're making contact above your hitting shoulder, so like 12 o'clock versus 1 o'clock is more what I'm showing you, um, tossing and hitting at 12 o'clock, you're just simply not going to be able to get near as much spin. Um, and again, the downside is you increase risk of injury whenever you make contact outside your hitting shoulder, uh, but I have never had anybody get injured from doing that. And again, if you feel pain, then don't do it. But um, the very least you can do is just hit a few serves in which you toss to the right. Um, if you are concerned about your shoulder, just hit it, toss to the right, hit a few serves, making contact well uh, to the right so you can feel it. Um, and then you can slowly bring that toss in so it's more traditional toss and then kind of figure out where it feels comfortable. Okay, so um, if you're having a lot of trouble with your toss accuracy, then you may not uh, benefit a whole lot from tossing well to the right. Maybe you'll just toss a little to the right. But if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of trouble with your uh, toss, then uh, you know, I have several different tosses based on what I'm trying to do with the ball. So if I want a, a speed slice, I'm going to toss in front and just a little to the right. If I want a spin slice, I know I'm repeating myself, guys, but I like to do that so to make sure you drill this into your brain. I want to help you. A, a spin slice, I toss less in front of the baseline, and I also toss very far towards the deuce alley. So here's just another view of that drill I was just explaining. You notice how I'm really just dropping the ball initially for a really low ball slice forehand, and then every few serves raise the height of the toss or the drop so that uh, it becomes a little more realistic to the slice serve and then before you know it you have a slice serve this is a great drill just to get you a feel for the slice feel is everything if you can feel it then you'll be able to replicate it i told you i'd give you a few bonus tips here's another one i'd like you to try finishing your slice serve, freeze at the end of your slice serve, check the follow through, and I want you to try having the palm of your hand facing up, as you can see, hopefully you can see I'm doing here. You can also see the hitting side of my strings are facing up, but again, simply finish with the palm of your hand facing up, so you see my wrist is kind of curled a little bit. This is going to help you to hit the outside of the ball at contact, which is of course absolutely required in order to get that side spin that you really want on the slice serve. All right, guys, you may have noticed I am not on the tennis court anymore. That's simply because I ran out of time. I got kicked off the court. So I wanted to make sure that I finished this video for you because I really don't have much time the rest of this weekend. So I had to do it now and I wanted to make sure that I gave you all the information you needed. And I think I have, but just a quick summary. 
Um, try out that drill. Okay, remember we toss the ball low and to the right, bring the toss higher and higher. And then once you get to your toss's usual height, then you can bring that toss closer and closer to you. So you're eventually hitting it closer to your hitting shoulder as opposed to well to the outside of your shoulder. So you, if you have any uh, concerns about your shoulder, as I said before, maybe you have shoulder pain, just toss a few to the right, well to the right, um, just as kind of a quick learning tool, a drill to help you uh, get a feel for that slice. And, and then you can find exactly where you want to put that toss so that you're comfortable uh, with your shoulder while still being able to hit a quality slice where you get a lot of spin on the ball. So uh, again, we talked about changing the depth of the toss, so how much you toss in front. We talked about uh, tossing a little to the right of what you normally do or well to the right and how that can change the amount of spin you want because you're certainly not going to get near as much spin if you toss it above you, like above your head. You want to toss that thing uh, well to the right of your hitting shoulder if you want the most spin possible. But of course, you have to figure out what's best for you in terms of disguise, which again, I talked about, I don't feel as, um, as big of a deal as many coaches uh, seem to say. And also, um, you know, your shoulder. Uh, I really don't think it's gonna cause problems for your shoulder, but uh, I should say that it's possible to make sure that I don't get in trouble. Um, so figure out the quality of your slice and balance that with uh, your shoulder and what you're comfortable with, what works for you. Just really experiment with tossing it uh, less in front and more to the right. And if you toss it to the right forever, uh, you may not have any issues with your shoulder, go for it. Um, but you can always just toss a little to the right. Again, just experiment with it. Uh, now on another note, I have a free serve training course that I will leave in the description down below. In this course, I talk about how to help you with an accurate toss. So if you're having trouble with your toss, this is surely to help you tremendously. Then also, if you wanna add power to your serve, I got another video on that. And I've got a video on improving the top spin on your kick serve. So again, if you are interested in improving your tennis game, then just go down into the description and you'll find uh, something titled uh, a free serve course. So thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the support. Give me a like, subscribe, uh, tell everybody you know, and I look forward to talking with you in next week's video. Of course, feel free to comment below. I love uh, answering questions or maybe you have a suggestion of a video you'd like for me to do in the future. Feel free to uh, speak your mind and I'm ready for uh, the criticism about the toss being well to the right. But um, as somebody once told me, I really like this advice, don't listen to anything you hear, just try it and you can decide what's best for yourself. No, I didn't say that right. Don't believe anything you hear, just try it and you can see for yourself what's best for you.